Hi everyone, I'm Tina DeLeo and welcome back to Chef Tini's Kitchen where we make magical meals in minutes. Today I'm here with my guest, Tony Marinucci from Tips with Tony. Uh, Tony is a registered dietitian. She's also a nutrition blogger and also has a YouTube channel. Um, welcome to the show, Tony. Thank you, I'm happy to be here. So today we're going to be talking about healthy, maintainable, um, dietary changes uh, in our menu, in our daily menu. Um, and we're going to start with an appetizer. So um, let's, let's get started and uh, tell me a little bit about what is a registered dietitian. Yeah. So a registered dietitian is a nutrition professional who helps people treat or prevent disease through food. So when you work one-on-one -on -one with a registered dietitian, they help you to navigate your diet in a realistic way, so that way you can stick to the lifestyle rather right. than starting something, maybe it works for about maybe a month or so, right. and then you kind of fall off. So a dietitian will work with you one-on-one -on -one and really individualize the meal plan to cater to your needs, wants, and goals. Right, because as, as I said, we're, we're in the new year, right, and we all tend to make these um, I think sometimes drastic uh, dietary changes, mm -hmm. and they're not maintainable. Exactly. So um, we're going to, like I said, we're going to start with our appetizer here. So tell me a little bit about what um, what we're what we're going to be doing with a traditional dip. So traditionally, dips tend to be very high in fat and calories, and it's really easy to have about 500 to 600 calories wow. in just an appetizer or a snack before even starting your meal if you don't make healthy swaps. Right. So what we have here today is a non-fat Greek yogurt. Okay. Greek yogurt is really high in calcium and vitamin D. The full fat tends to have more calories, whereas the non-fat or the low fat will have less calories, right. so that way you can indulge, or not indulge, but you know enjoy your meal it without having to It sort of keeps that, um, it keeps the, um, like it's like almost, it keeps that base, that, that heavier base going with your dip. So yeah. instead of a, like a mayonnaise, um, you know, we're using the Greek yogurt to, it, it keeps the consistency, right? Absolutely. Yeah. So very similar to sour cream, it has the same exact consistency. Right. So when you use it, you can still feel satisfied right. like you're having a dip flavor and right. taste, and you, that's exactly what you're doing. We're just using the Greek yogurt as a replacement because it's higher in protein and less fat. Right. It's one of my favorite swaps. Um, I love Greek yogurt, and um, I'm excited to see what type of dip we're going to make with this crudite platter that we have here. So um, we have some dill, yep. right, um, and some fresh garlic and some lemon juice. I mean, that's pretty basic. Yeah. So do you want to um, get to chop sure. it, or do you want me to do it? It's it doesn't you're, matter. You're guest, so it, yeah. I feel like I'm putting you to work. But it's okay. <laughs> let's uh, let's um, let's let's do it. So right. I'm gonna put your knife skills to the okay. test. Okay. Let's right. see what I can do here. Okay. Um. So first things first. Let's chop up the dill. Okay. You need about a tablespoon of chopped dill. Ooh. And dill has a really strong flavor, right? So yes, yeah, so you really don't need a lot of right. it. And instead of, as you can tell, we're not adding any salt at all, right? Um, because using fresh herbs gives the foods that you're cooking with flavor without adding sodium, which can raise blood pressure right. in someone's body. Whereas the store-bought dips tend to have a lot of sodium in right. them to keep the shelf life up. Right. They're not made fresh. So I find bold flavors in, um, in food, you can cut back a lot on fats and like you said, salt. Yep. Right? Do you agree with that? Absolutely. Does that tend to be, right. Yeah, and you know, a lot of times people buy dressings because one, convenience, right. it's already done, they don't have to prepare. Right. Um, and two, maybe they just don't know how. But with this recipe, it's so simple. You just have the four ingredients. Right. All you have to know is how to chop. Or, um, and if you don't dip. know how to use a knife, um, you can, you know, take this and put it in your uh, mini chopper or your um, food processor. Um, it's very, um, you know, it's very simple. You don't need to have knife skills in order to do that. Yeah, exactly. Um, so you want to scoop that up yep. into there. So we're just going to put it right into this is one cup of non-fat plain Greek right. yogurt. You don't want to use the flavored one. It's zero percent, right? Yep. yep. So it's the fat-free Greek yogurt and it's plain. If you use a vanilla, it's obviously not going to taste, you right. don't want a sweet dip. We're trying to go off of like kind of right. like sour right. cream. And that way you can also build upon the flavors because it has no, um, has no additional flavors. So yep. You can sort of create your own 
Um, you know, you can create your own, that's the base, and then you can, you know, create your own dip, or I've used this for pesto. Yeah. Um, I've, anyway, so um, uh, you have also, I'm going to show you my little tip for yeah, the garlic. Yeah, please do, yeah. because I was wondering what we were going to do. Okay, with so, so you had said one over. garlic clove, yes, right? Yes. So this is my little, my little trek. I'm going to move us over to the board here. Sure. Um, I have a lot of picky eaters in my house, so I like to shred. So I use this microplane. You could also use a box grater. And you know what, it just um, gives it that same fresh garlic taste without a lot of the chunk. Because sometimes yeah. people, you know, garlic is really good for us, right? Yeah, I mean, so what are some fresh. of the health benefits to garlic? Tell, so tell garlic us. has a lot of what we call antioxidant properties. Okay. Those are basically what, when we consume antioxidants, it defends any illnesses that our body might be having. So say inflammation is something that can cause disease right oh. um so when you have something like garlic in the diet it's anti-inflammatory okay and it prevents you from what's what called free radicals or which kind of go off and where we create that disease it stops the free, free radicals from attacking the body okay so uh yeah i cook with a lot of garlic it's important um yeah it's yeah. really um it's really one of my favorite flavors yeah. um i actually ended up because my finger nubs were going. So I ended up using one, it's really one whole garlic, but I ended up using two because I didn't want to right. have a scary show. <laughs> <laughs> a bloody show, anyway, gross. Okay, so you're gonna, um, so that's our garlic. So this is really simple. Anybody yeah. can do this at home. Absolutely. Um, and what is next for our yummy dip? So the last thing is you need a little bit of juice. So we're gonna use okay. fresh lemon juice. Okay. Um, I find that when you use the fresh, Fresh tends to, the flavors are just, there's no denying that right. fresh flavors are best. You can use lemon juice that you buy in the right. store, um, but I think fresh lemon juice really gives yes. it that extra yeah. punch. Definitely. Have you ever, just, just to, um, have you ever used the zest in there? It gives it a little extra. Now I'm making a dip, but right. I'm sure you could. Well, um, we're going to actually use it later, but I was just wondering, oh, are there yeah. any... Um, advantages to the zest or the skin of the lemon? That's a great question. The whole lemon is nutritious. The vitamin C is mostly on the inside. Right. And then the skin, believe it or not, the white parts of the lemon, even or an orange, any of your citrus fruits, right. have B vitamins that oh. if you're deficient in those vitamins, you might get cracks on your lips. So what, um, uh, not to cut you off, but B vitamin is for, uh, it's something we don't hear a lot about, so I'm yeah. just curious what, so all, there's a bunch of different vitamins that have different roles and play different roles in our body. Obviously, you can't just go on, you know, taking supplements and going with one vitamin is not going to help you. It's really having a variety of those foods right. in the diet. So B vitamins have a bunch of different functions. They help to array, uh, raise your immunity, so okay. prevent you from getting sick. sick. Very similar, like vitamin C. Right. Um, but so riboflavin is a B vitamin that's in the white part of the lemon. Which a lot of times people tend to stay away from because it's a little bitter, mm -hmm. right? But that, that's, that's what you were saying by using the zest, you right. can get the benefit yep. of it. Yep. Um, fruits and vegetables are amazing in the fact that they have so many different properties and it's never just one part right. that provides those um, nutritional benefits to it. So the vitamin C is what brings up the immunity and keeps you from getting sick. Okay. The vitamin B in the white part, um, if you're deficient in vitamin B, which is a little bit challenging because you tend, most people tend to get it, but if you are, you might get like cracks in the lips and it is winter time, so right. sometimes people might think that they're just dehydrated in the cold, but really they could also be not getting in enough fruits and vegetables okay. in the diet. And that's why it's so important to have um, fruits and vegetables in your diet and, yep. and, and and fresh, like you're saying, fruits and vegetables, because they do have so many different um, benefits mm -hmm. and um, which we all need and to yep. stay healthy. And yep. I think, you know, as a society, we're definitely becoming more healthful. Um, and I know for me, um, you know, definitely moving towards the, the healthful eating is definitely huge. Yeah, so, absolutely. So you're going to squeeze that lemon so, yeah, juice? So it's about two teaspoons of fresh lemon juice. I'm just going to squeeze that in there. There we go. That's about it. And then we just mix it up. So it's about half a lemon? Yep. Half a lemon? Yep. yep. It looks delicious. It's got great color. Yep, and that color is always really it's important. Huge. When you're not sure if your dish is nutritious, take a look at it. If it's colorful from something like Fruity Pebbles, right. not that's nutritious, much, right? yeah. but if it's colorful from natural foods, right. so here we have the crudite. Yes. So we have yeah, Let's bring it up on, our, on the board here so that sure. we can get a good shot of what it looks like. It, 
This is amazing. This looks so good. So we have all of your different vegetables, each providing different types of nutrients. Right. Okay, so we have broccoli, which is high in iron. We have carrots, which are high in vitamin A. Right. Tomatoes, which are high in potassium. Right. And then believe it or not, peppers. One pepper has more vitamin C than your oranges. Right, I was your, just reading that. Yeah, yes. it's amazing. So sometimes you don't think that, we, we think vitamin C, we think fruit. That's right. But vegetables are what happen um, as well. Yeah, I just read that and I was surprised myself that mm -hmm. um, it had so much vitamin C. Yeah. So, um, because I'm always about the presentation as well, <laughs> so we put our dip into this little bowl that we have here. Mm -hmm. And while I do this, we're gonna taste it, and I'm also my I have my I have the oven going because we're gonna get our meal going. I'm just gonna take push this aside, and I'm gonna step back here and just turn this on for. Okay, all right. So we must taste. I'm just gonna move my little board over because I really would like to taste this. <laughs> and I'm also gonna give us a little treat. This is. Oh. Just a little drink for us. It's just um, grapefruit juice, cranberry, and seltzer. With a, I put a few raspberries in there just to give it some fresh fruit. And we'll just have that. If it was uh, a little later, we could have maybe made this a sangria or <laughs> something special like that. Simple drink. You know, I I'm not really a soda drinker, so I like seltzer with some uh, uh, fruit juice that has no high. Uh, Fructose. High fructose corn yeah, syrup. Which yeah, which is not really great. So you're using so. a fresh 100% juice, which is still going to be high in sugar, but by adding the seltzer to right. it, it decreases that amount in there and gives it a nice little flavor. All right, well, let's give your dip a try real All quick. Right. I'm going to go with the peppers because that's one of my favorite. All right, I think I'll do it too, just because we were just talking about the vitamin C benefits. <laughs> it's satiating. Mm. It's got a lot of flavor from the dill. Speaking with my mouth open, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, the lemon juice, the garlic. Yeah. It's not chunky. It reminds me of tzatziki sauce. Yes. The Greek space. Yep. Um, very good. I mean, I would serve this on any any uh, holiday or family gathering or friend gathering. Yep. This is delicious. This is a really helpful dip, and I'm really, really enjoying it. Um, and, and cheers, and thank you for coming on the oh, show. Thank you. My very pleasure. excited. <laughs>